This embarrassing moment in Parliament honoring a Nazi unit soldier. He's a Ukrainian hero, a Canadian hero. Is prompting calls for Canada to reckon with its own history. How did the Nazi war criminals get in and how uh, were they able to avoid any accountability all this time? It's unclear how many alleged war criminals were admitted after the Second World War. One Jewish group estimates the number is in the thousands. It's Canada's dirty little secret, says the special envoy for Holocaust uh, so Remembrance. I really think at this point we need to open up uh, the archives of history uh, to expose the uh, sunlight of uh, uh, disinfectant and uh, arrive at the truth. The Duchesne De Commission probed the issue in the 1980s. Part of its report made public. The rest marked secret. The names of Nazi collaborators never released. As for ex-soldiers like Yaroslav Hunka, the commission said, charges of war crimes against members of the Galicia Division have never been substantiated. When it comes to remembering the victims, we, we've done a lot. But when it comes to remembering the murderers, we've done very little. David Mattis appeared before the commission decades ago. He says its findings on Ukrainian Nazi soldiers are questionable. The Nuremberg Tribunal identified the SS as a criminal organization, and I think that it has much more persuasive force. The NDP wants the government to name names of ex-Nazis. We absolutely need to have more transparency. But when pressed, Canada's Attorney General wouldn't commit to opening the books. I think there's always room to learn about instances of gross human rights violations. Jewish groups in the opposition party say what happened in Parliament was a shameful event. The chance to re-examine history, they say, may be the silver lining. J.P. Tasker, CBC News, Ottawa.